Are there any assets that are not reportable to the IRS? This is Vincenzo Villamina from Online Taxman. And the answer is yes. You know, obviously you have the, the F bar, right? And that's only for bank accounts. But then you have the 8938 form, which has a higher threshold than the F bar, roughly 50 to 100,000 if you're living in the United States, single versus married. Or if you're outside the United States, either 200 or 400,000 single versus married, right? And the 8938 does not only include foreign bank accounts, but it also includes other foreign assets, right? Mutual funds, foreign pension, you know, loans, stock, bonds, any sort of investment. So then, yeah, the question is, what's not reportable on the 8938 if I meet that threshold? And the answer is, you know, any sort of physical gold bars or bullion that's stored in a vault in which you don't have the key. You know, if anything that's in a safe deposit box, any sort of foreign real estate that is not in the name of a company, right? So if it's in your personal name, if it is in the name of a company, then it automatically becomes a foreign financial asset that's reportable. So you have to kind of weigh the pros and cons of, okay, name of the company might be tax efficient, efficient from a uh, from a legal standpoint, you know, as far as uh, like liability protection, but then you have to report it. And then finally, anything that is, you know, in a foreign spouse's name. So let's say you have a foreign NRA, which means non-resident alien spouse, so non-American, no green card, not report on your tax return, then you could potentially put these foreign assets in your spouse's name, right? I mean, whether it's mutual funds, whether it's, you know, any sort of investments. And by being in your foreign spouse's name that's not being reported on your tax return, then no, that is not reportable to the IRS. So obviously you want to trust your spouse and it can't be someone that you met last week. But other than that, it's certainly, you know, an idea that people can look to pursue if they don't want to file all of uh, or, or disclose all of their assets. And just to get back to the point about people that, you know, if you have gold bars, etc., it has to be physical in nature, right? So any of these accounts like Perth Mint or gold money, you know, those are reportable, right? Because that's something that's that's on paper versus something that's physical in nature that you can hand, carry that's tangible, any sort of jewelry, uh, antiques, etc. That stuff is not reportable. But again, if you have any questions at all about what to report, what not to report, what's an F bar, what's 8938, who am I, you know, anything related to international taxes that we could help with, please go to onlinetaxman.com and sign up for a consultation with myself, one of our CPAs, no obligation, we're happy to help. We are the expat tax experts and we're here to help you with your filing requirements, make sure you're above the law, but obviously optimize your situation. Thank you very much, have a good day.